of our guests this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Phil, Ashley Tisdale, and Timothy Simons. Now, earlier on today, my producers took the cell phone of one of these three people. I have no idea whose cell phone they took, and one by one, clues will be given from their phone, like a song, a text. All three will do their best to convince me the items are from their cell phone. After I've heard all of their explanations, I will guess the true owner of the cell phone contents. It's time to play Cell Phone Profile. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at this. <laughs> let's really get in there. <laughs> Don't you eyeball me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. The first clue. The first clue is a song. May we see the song? This is a song that was most recently played <laughs> on this person's phone. The song is <laughs> You by CeeLo Green. <laughs> I already know that it's Dr. Phil's phone. <laughs> this is my phone. I wake up to this every... I meditate to this every morning. Really? Yeah, it gets me ready to go to the studio and do what I have to do to who I have to do it to. <laughs> wow. So, it's every morning. I every this, morning? Yeah, it's, uh, it, I, it's my quiet time. <laughs> Ashley, this is your phone, isn't it? Yes, of course it's yeah? my phone. So, you like this song? You like this song a lot? I love this song. It pumps me up. It gets me going. You know, so, if I said, I've been driving around town with the... Girl I know. I'm like... You. <laughs> There's no need to be rude. It's your first time on the show, okay? <laughs> Timothy, I feel like this is maybe a song you're listening to to get in the mindset of Jonah on Veep. Would that be correct? It's close. Yeah? Uh, our show is known for its swearing, mm -hmm. so something that I am doing for our entire cast is I'm building a Spotify playlist of songs that have <laughs> swears in the titles. It's <laughs> so like, <laughs> you, and I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> you, police. Um, she hates me. There's that song that is just called Bitch. That's on yeah. there. Um, so it's just, but the, every song on the playlist has to have a swear in the title, and that's part of it. I mean, if we're being honest... <laughs> Alright. I believe it. I believe it could be you. Alright, cool. Because let's be honest, that moustache is a you in itself, isn't it? That's, <laughs> that's the truth of it. The second clue is a photo. Let's have a look at this photo. This is a photo recently <laughs> taken. <laughs> Ashley, what is this? Why did you take this photo? Okay, it's my best friend's cat. Mm -hmm. And she, her name's Chloe. And she does this thing where you like, when you pet her stomach, she just like tends to fall backwards. And like, I think she just falls asleep. So we just like uh, took a picture. It's so cute. And how long has the cat been dead? <laughs> Sleeping, it's not dead. You killed it, didn't you? Phil? <laughs> you were listening to CeeLo Green, you were jazzed up, and you strangled that cat, didn't you, Phil? <laughs> Damn it, own up to it. I didn't kill the cat, but this was a cat that was in cat zoology. You remember? Did you ever take it? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> No, when you, when you go through school, you can do cat zoology, where you dissect a cat and take all of its parts and pieces out. This was the cat. They call it Cat Zoe. So you're saying that is a cat called Cat Zoe? No, that's the cat that you dissect in a class called Cat Zoology. So you have to why the hell have you got a picture of it on your phone? Well, I spent a lot of time with it. <laughs> I even named it. It's called Zero. <laughs> Why? Because it has zero life left. <laughs> Timothy, why is this cat on your phone? Um... Damn it, tell me the truth! <laughs> so I have children, and I, I can't recommend it, but I... And they... My wife and I had a pact that when they were old enough to ask for a pet, we would get them a pet. And then two years ago, my daughter said, I think I really want a cat, and we pretended that we didn't hear her. <laughs> so, 
recently we have started feeling adequately bad about that, and we are researching like hyperallergenic animals and pets. And so hairless cats is one. So that is on my phone because I've been sending pictures of, of, of animals that will not uh, like flare up allergies. That's why. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to get this cat. This is just sort of like, <laughs> these are just options that I'm sending to my No, wife. if you sent that to your wife mm -hmm. as a potential cat for your children, you would be standing here as a man going through a divorce. <laughs> Cute cat. <laughs> the third clue is a video. May we see the video that was on this cell phone? OK. So that is a video of a man inside a shopping cart driving down what looks to be a freeway. <laughs> Phil, why Jake. are you taking videos of your agent driving around like that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in Cabo at my, son my son's house, Jay, and we were going somewhere, and I just drove up next to this guy, and he's in a shopping cart doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> and I rolled the window down and took a shot of this, because I'm thinking, holy <laughs> <laughs> This guy's sitting down inside this. I don't know how he's steering it, but he's doing 50. <laughs> and he looks at me like, what? <laughs> So, well, how did he look at you, Phil? What? <laughs> One more? What? <laughs> Tisdale, what the hell is going on here? Why did you take this video? Okay, it was wild. I was, I was on my way to Coachella, and I was at, you know, we were in Palm Springs, and I just look over, and I see this guy. Like, yeah, he's in a cart driving. So I was like, I have to get this for the gram. Like, this is so postable. <laughs> And I just got my camera out, and then I was like, wow, like, look at him. He's going. The Maybe reason, he's going to Coachella. I don't know. The reason I think that could be true yeah. is no self-respecting human would admit to going to Coachella. <laughs> so I actually believe, I actually might believe you. <laughs> Damn it, Timothy, let's cut to the chase. It's your phone! <laughs> this, this is actually mine. Uh, I grew up in Maine, and if you're not from Maine, you don't know this, but small engine repair is a topic of conversation from when you are very little until you are very old, and this is from a long-running text chain with friends of mine that I grew up with whenever we see anything that looks like it has anything to do with small engine repair. This is something you could study at my high school. You could study small engine repair, and uh, this is just a text that went to that chain. Okay. <laughs> well, let's you recap. Maine, you don't know about this stuff. This is important. Oh, I know it's important, Simons. Don't I, Phil? What? OK. <laughs> Let's recap. Let's recap. We got the song, <laughs> you. We got a picture of a hairless cat and a video of a man driving in a shopping cart on a freeway. I believe that the cell phone belongs to... I'm going to guess... Ashley... Will the owner of this cell phone please step forward? <laughs> no way! <laughs> that was so much, We've got some questions about this when we come back. Come back, everybody.